All right, guys, so today we are going to be checking out the brand new My Hero Academia gacha game from Bandai Namco called My Hero Ultra Impact. Now, the Japanese version of this game has been out for, I want to say, close to a year, so you guys have probably heard about it at some point, but the global version just released this week, so I'm super excited to check it out. I'm hoping that this one has a little bit more staying power than the last My Hero game, which was the strongest hero, right? Like that one was um, fun and I was super into it for the first few weeks, but then I got kind of bored. But this game seems a lot more promising. Um, Bandai Namco has a pretty good track record with gacha games. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we should be starting with the tutorial, like most gacha games. Okay, so we got our girl Ochako, Deku, and also Bakugo. And the homie All Might. Sick, okay. So he's here for combat training. Uh, he put on his teacher outfit, alright. Combat begins with turn start, your first step to becoming a hero. So let's hit turn start. And it looks like combat just happens automatically. All right. Have you noticed the attack order? This number shows when you'll take a turn. Increase your speed to get to your turn faster. Okay, so kind of like uh, kind of like Pokemon. All right. Uh, it's time to show off your quirk. Rising Potential and Lord Explosion Murder. <laughs> okay, so uh, these seem like passive skills. And as you can see, both uh, Ochako and Bakugo increase their power with these uh, auto skills. You can check out its effects in the menu, check and see how it can impact the battle. Okay. Your action skill gauge is filled. Show me your quirk. So we can use Deku's quirk now. Okay, so that was like a, like a super attack. That was like a super attack. Uh, action skills let you use your character's quirks to deal powerful attacks or recover. Use them wisely, so uh, since you can't use them continuously. Make sense? <laughs> oh, I love All Might so much. Uh, your plus ultra gauge is filled up. A great chance to throw down an ultimate move. Let's do that. Okay. Boom. Turn start. That was dope. That was dope. Okay, so so far we learned about passive skills, uh, active skills, or active attacks, and then ultimate moves, and uh, that's it I guess. Okay, so All Might says, good work. You did an amazing job for your first training session, really. Thanks All Might. Now keep on training to aim for the top. And that's it. <laughs> so my question is, when can we start summoning? Oh, by the way, I downloaded all the data. I think usually around this time, you should be uh, getting like a huge data download, but uh, we're good to go. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys know the story of my hero, so you don't need to see this. But basically, Deku was a kid that grew up in a world where everybody had powers and <laughs> he didn't get a power. He was like the rare like 20% that didn't get a quirk and it was really sad. But then he meets All Might and All Might sees his potential and gives him his powers and he becomes like really strong. Okay, there you go. That's my hero for you. <laughs> let's move on. Uh, end playback, yeah, let's, let's continue. 
This is a gift for your hard work. You can try as many times as you like. Oh! Oh, okay, so it's endless rerolls. Yo, that's sick! That's amazing. Usually with uh, gacha games, like new games, you can only do one roll. And whatever you get is what, what you get, right? But it looks like for this one, you can like do as many multis as you want. You just like choose the one you like the most, right? So that's, that's freaking awesome. Let's do it. I'm going to be here for a while, guys. <laughs> I can tell you right now, we're going to be here for a while. So this is the summoning animation. It's uh, Deku and Bakugo fighting. Oh, that's kind of nice. They got All Might with the point. Okay, we got an SR President Mike. A R a society of rampant fakes. Okay, with stain, we got Kurogiri, SR, uh, happy event, a SR cooking fun Katsuki Bakugo. Okay, um, distinguished lineup. So I, I can tell not all of these are characters. Maybe they're like power ups or like equipment or something like that. Uh, admit delusions. <laughs> the power of the big three. Uh, Tamaki Amajiki. And this one's good, whatever it is. Ooh! You are Sharp Gale Hawks. Okay, so that was our multi. We can either, I guess, click OK and keep it or redo. Now, um, I like Hawks a lot, but I've heard, I've been told that, uh, I think the characters you want to go for are Momo or Bakugo apparently is really good, Otako is really good, um, and I feel like you can probably get multiple URs, or is it, was it just like one guaranteed UR for every multi and that's it? I'm not sure, but let's try it. Let, let's let's redo. We can't keep our first multi. Like that's not how it works, right? But let's see if there are some different animations here. This is amazing. Like this takes out so much of the. I mean, obviously not everyone has to reroll, but like, you know, most people want to get the best start possible. So we got the same animation this time. Uh, yeah, most people want to get the best start possible, so a lot of times for gacha games, people are like deleting the data, deleting the app, and then reinstalling, and it just takes forever, right? But this... <laughs> I love this. I love this face. Um, yeah, like this, this, this just has built-in reroll for you, because they know people are going to reroll anyways, so might as well make it easier for, for their players, right? I really appreciate that. I really do. Okay, so I think uh, we're going to do a few more multis here. I, I want to try to get multiple URs if possible, or at least some different ones. Uh, ooh. Okay, we got a Deku here. Oh, that art looks amazing. The animations for these cards, I got to say, you guys, look really, really clean. Okay, we're going to redo. I want to see if there are other summoning animations, because we got the same one twice. I want to see if like they do anything different when they fight each other, or at least like a different All Might animation. Okay, so same thing again. Oh, oh, hold on. This is different. Wait, I, I think, I think, I think the ending was different. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, we got a cooking fun Ochako. An SR sh uh, room showcase competition.
There's our girl Momo. Okay, okay. So this might be a keeper. This one might be a keeper. I heard she's really good. As like a support unit. <sighs> but nah. There we go. There's... There's Bakugo. So I think we have to keep this one. I, I think we do. I mean, I said I wanted Bakugo. I got Bakugo. So we should stop, right? <sighs> but what if you can get multiple URs? I don't want just one UR if I can get two or three or more. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait, this was the first character in the multi. So... In theory, we should get at least one more. Oh! Okay, we got Deku. As it turns out, you can get multiple UR characters. Now, if only, if only we can get Momo and Bakugo. That would be ideal. Alright, so this is the most URs we've pulled in a single multi so far. We got one uh, UR memory, and then we have a UR uh, Shigaraki, and also a UR Todoroki. So I'm tempted to keep this one, just because it's three URs, which is not something I've seen before. And I do like Todoroki a lot. Um, I doubt he's that bad, even if he's not top tier. But nah. Oh! So it looks like you can get a different All My image. So does that mean something different though? Are we getting like a double UR multi or triple UR? I mean, a lot of SRs. It's been a lot of SRs. Come on. Come on. Okay, we got Kirishima, and that's it? Oh, okay, what does that mean then? The All Might literally means nothing. <laughs> Yo. Okay, so it's not exactly what I wanted. We didn't get Momo and Bakugo, but we got Todoroki, we got Otako, and we also got Bakugo. I think I have to keep this one. This is like out of like, I don't know, 50 plus rolls I've done so far. This is the first multi I've gotten three UR characters. Like we, we have to keep it. There's no choice. We have to keep it. So, okay. Okay. I'm sure I'll get Momo at some point, you know, later on, maybe in some other summons or I don't know. doesn't matter. I'm happy with three UR characters. That's, that's pretty good. And uh, we also have uh, five free tickets here from the global release celebration login bonus. Pretty nice. And a running start login bonus, 200 hero gems, which I'm assuming are for summoning. All Might says, looks like you found some great allies. I bet you'd like to go battle with them. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, looks like you're up and ready to fight. Great, now follow me. So we're going to do some story quest. Here you can experience young Midoriya's story. Tap the screen and read to the end. Okay, so it says, On the first day of school, our teacher, Mr. Aizawa, gave us a quirk assessment test. Even though I struggled to control my quirk, I was somehow able to pass. The next day, it was finally time for All Might's first class. After taking care of the robot obstacles, we took on some indoor combat training. Okay. Select a guest to support you as a sidekick. Okay, so we're gonna go with Panda. Why not? You're almost ready for a real battle. Tap the question mark to review if you run into trouble. I've put together a team for your quest. I'll be watching from the sidelines as your coach. Now, Afiko, you can become a hero. Alright, let's become heroes, guys. 
Let's become heroes. Okay, so we activated our passives. Uh, let's learn about the Almighty Skill Chain, a way to use your quirks in quick succession. Tap on the action skill button for all characters with a full action skill gauge. Okay, we got Bakugo, we got Ochako, and also Todoroki. The skill chain activates in the order that you tap on the buttons. Turn start. Timing is key for skill chains. Work together and pull this off. You'll need to tap the screen at the right timing. It's okay, you've got this. Okay. Oh, okay, so we, we hit it as uh, the two like lights converge towards the middle. Uh, build a chain of time taps and land bonus damage on the enemy. Okay. Keep the chain going and get a bonus to your plus ultra gauge. Okay. And that's it. So, okay, it looks to me like Bakugo and Shoto are like damage dealers, whereas uh, Ochako is more of a support. Right, she heals and also I think makes you more tanky, so that that's a great like trio right there man that seems like a good team comp to me and we also got uh let's see oh some random stuff doesn't matter uh i'm gonna say don't follow panda i'm sorry i appreciate the support though and let's uh move on to the next stage here check awakening missions to complete all missions and obtain ur recruit tickets okay Uh, let's see. Complete the missions to get a UR recruit ticket and more. Welcome, ready to take on Awakening missions. These are all you need to become a hero. By completing each of these missions, you will be able to awaken a hero of your choosing. Okay, so awaken by unlocking spaces on the ability board turns into a new illustration. Oh, so this seems like, um, kind of like Dokkan Awakenings in Dokkan, right? <laughs> So they have like different forms when you awaken them. That's pretty cool. Uh, awaken for cool illustrations and boosted stats. Aizawa will explain more at the ability board. Missions also level up as you proceed. Complete missions to receive gifts and lavish rewards. Now then, choose the hero you want to awaken. Aim to become the greatest hero plus ultra. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, we can choose between our three UR characters it looks like. And I'm gonna go with... We gotta go with Bakugo. Okay. You have chosen number one, Katsuki, Katsuki Bakugo, as your Awakening Missions character. You will not be able to change this later, are you sure? Why not? Why not? Okay, so we can claim some rewards right now. I don't know what that is. What is this? Necessary for unlocking spaces on the ability board. Oh, so for my Dokkan battle players out there, this would be like, I guess, potential orbs for the hidden potential system. And let's go back to home here. Got some news, got some sales. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be spending any money on this game, although I can't promise that I won't eventually. <laughs> but it's too early. It's too early. Okay, so got some stamina, got some gems. Uh, what is this? Valentine's background. You can use this as your wallpaper. Oh, there's wallpaper. Oh, that's cool. And gifts. Okay, let's grab all these. So now we have uh, 1,230 hero gems, and you guys know what I'm gonna do right now, right? We got We gotta do some more summons. <laughs> we we gotta do some more summons. Let's go. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is for tickets. We only have five tickets, so I'm gonna save until we have ten. But there must be something else we can summon on. Oh, okay, so this one. Uh, STR type select recruit. We can do a free summon every day. Let's go for that. All might, all might, all might. Okay, no all might here. And that's gonna be an SR uh, Todoroki memory. Okay, well, let's do a couple multis. I'm not sure if this is a good banner to summon on, but I don't care. <laughs> if I can get another UR, that would be ideal. Okay, Tokoyami. I've never been calmer. Distinguished lineup. UA High Teachers. SR Muscular. <laughs> another Who Do You Want to Become? Uh, schooly stuff. Everyday Affair. Bakugo. White Courtyard. Oh, that's it, eh? Okay, one more. One more. <laughs> What are the rates for URs, actually? I, I'm not sure. I should check that. This uh, might have been a mistake, guys. Might have been a mistake. Yeah, okay. Well, hey. A um, couple of SR memories. I'm sure those are good. <laughs> I'm sure those are useful. But... Man, I was hoping we would get something else. Like another UR, you know. But it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. Let's uh, go back to... Let's go back to Quest. And do a few more stages. Okay, select guest. Um, It's almost time for a real battle. Listen carefully. Select a guest to be your sidekick. You can use your guest ultra plus ultra move once. Okay. Select the guest's favorite and invite them to be your sidekick again next time. Okay, so let's go with uh, this this guy's Ochako start quest. All right, so let's do our uh, attack chain thing like before. Oh, is that it? <laughs> That's it, guys. All right. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this team. I'm I'm feeling pretty pretty happy with this setup we have here. Even though I still wanted Momo. I, I still do want Momo, but I can't complain about this, man. <laughs> I I can't complain about these three. They all seem really good and I like the fact that one of them is a support. So uh you know, we have a healer. We don't have to worry about dying as much. Which is always nice. Uh, let's try... Let's try the guest attack. And then also the chain attack here. Wakom. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize that he uh, that his attack is AOE. That's useful. That's very useful. So we got a single attacker, right? Uh, a really um, hard-hitting single uh, target attacker, and then we have an attack all unit in the Todoroki, and then we have a uh, healer supporter in the Ochako. That's perfect. If you guys can't tell, I'm trying to convince myself that I made the right choice in keeping this team. So yeah, just don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, oh, this is a... It says no battle. Play story. Okay, so I'm gonna disappear for a second. You guys can enjoy the story, and uh, I'll be back after.
All right, so I was kind of hoping that it would be like an animation kind of deal, but that, that was cool too. That was cool too. And now we have this boss battle against Bakugo. And we're going to fight him with our Bakugo. And for the friend, let's grab another Bakugo. There's just a lot of Bakugo in this fight. <laughs> Now, the good thing is we get to see what uh, Baku goes. Uh, what's it called? Like, ultimate attack looks like here. So, I'm going to go for the friend ultimate attack. Or no. Yeah, okay, yeah. Friend ultimate attack, and then... Boom, boom, boom. Turn start. Damn. That was pretty sweet. Oh crap. <laughs> Almost missed it. Okay, and... A little bit of healing. Oh, so basically she heals you and then increases your evasion. So it makes it more likely for you to dodge attacks. Pretty, pretty easy boss fight, I gotta say. Pretty easy boss fight. And we got some more gems and a bunch of other stuff, which uh, I'm assuming is also... I mean, I think these little gears and stuff are uh, ascension material or, you know, like power-up material. And then, of course, we have some skip tickets. And that's it. Okay. Uh, ability board unlocked. Level up your characters and acquire new skills. Plus, get new illustrations by awakening characters that are SR or higher. Check it out now. Alright, let's check it out. Uh, character ability board. Let's go for Bakugo. Uh, train your heroes with the ability board. You can get the required items from quests. Okay. Unlock an awakening space to transform the illustration and power up. Uh, first, try to focus on unlocking new skills. It'll open up more strategies you can use. Next, aim to awaken them. Unlocking everything would be impressive. There are two routes on the uh, ability board. You can switch at any time, so proceed based on your goals. So there's basic route and peace route. Um, stats up, unlock skills and awaken. Stats get a mega boost, unlock powerful skills. So one is with uh, materials from quest. The other one is for or with pieces from the gear shop. The basic route is for building your foundation. Use the piece route to get even stronger. Uh Oh, okay, so we're on the piece route right now. The piece route, and as you can see, we need like pieces of Bakugo. So I think this is where the dupe system comes into play. Let's go back to the basic route here. And we can get 100 HP with this one. Nice, and then we can get uh, some more power with this one. Get two more speed. And we're missing, we're missing a piece for this one. So that's as far as we can go right now with Bakugo. But yeah, there you go. That is essentially like the hidden potential system or the, I actually forgot what it was called in Dragon Ball Legends, but Legends has a similar system as well as a lot of other gacha games, of course. And uh, let's collect some missions here. 
Okay. Some energy. Some more gems. And I don't know what that is, but okay. So there you go, guys. Uh, I think we're going to call it there. I think we've seen plenty from this game to start as far as my first impressions go. Um, I really like it so far. I really like it so far. It's uh, definitely a more passive game compared to The Strongest Hero, which for a mobile game is actually very good because you want to be able to play it with one hand and also to not have to think too hard about it, right? Like when it comes to more involved mobile games like Legends or Strongest Hero or some other examples, um, the issue with those games, even though they can be fun, is that it requires a lot of attention. It requires a lot of like actual interaction with your phone. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you're on the go or you're in an inconvenient place, you don't want to have to like spend too much or expand too much effort or attention into the game, right? So I like this style of game where you're just like clicking a few buttons and then for the most part, the game is playing itself. And the arts look amazing for all the characters. Um, I like the different systems I see so far. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be playing a bit more or possibly a lot more going forward. You might see a few videos on the channel for summons or uh, some gameplay or whatever the case may be. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about the game so far based on what you've seen in this video. Are you gonna be trying it? Are you interested? If you're a My Hero fan, I think this is kind of a no-brainer, right? Like, it's it's definitely worth a shot. And uh, there you go, guys. That is My Hero Ultra Impact. Go check it out on Android and iOS now. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I was just curious about what this game actually was. And so far, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.